channel if you're joining for the first time this is chatterbox with uju my name is uju anobi and this is my vlog now on chatterbox you know how we do it we talk about lifestyle we talk about friendship we talk about situationships we talk about things that are trending in the country based on that today i'll be talking about the new alabama law the nigerian constitution and what it says on abortion and the effects of having an unintended pregnancy now with that being said i would like to state that i am pro-choice and before you come for me and my entire generation let me just briefly explain to you what pro-choice means now pro-choice means that i believe that every woman should have the basic human right to decide whether or not to have an abortion based on her morals and her religion now if you feel like having an abortion is bad now that's your moral and that's your religion so do not have an abortion but you cannot tell another person not to have an abortion based on your own religion or your own values so the state of alabama recently passed a new abortion law that clearly ignored rape and incest as an exemption and you know that's what got social media buzzing people are like how can you go from balance to nothing now the law that used to govern the state of alabama ruled that women have the fundamental right to privacy to decide whether to have an abortion or not it's also ruled that the right to privacy is not absolute and must be balanced against the government's interest in protecting women's health and prenatal life now that makes sense because women had the right to choose if they would have an abortion but at the same time the law sort of gave the government some sort of balance to regulate and checkmate so it was like a check and balance situation now what did they do they tied the right to an abortion on the three trimesters of pregnancy now they said the first trimester nobody can prohibit you from having an abortion the second trimester is said that the government could require reasonable health regulation so the third trimester um you could have an abortion if you could prove that the abortion is being carried out in order to save the life of the mother now with that being said there was some sort of balance between um protecting the mental health of the woman and the government um, creating some sort of balance now the whole of social media was buzzing because everybody was like okay so you had some sort of balance so why would you go from balance to a situation whereby you ignore rape and incest which is like the most important thing when putting out a law like this now that got me thinking what does the nigeria constitution even say about abortion and i found out that abortion in nigeria is governed by two codes um the, the northern nigeria is governed by the penal code while the southern nigeria is governed by the criminal code and the criminal code is expressed in section 228 229 and 230 and it clearly states that um you cannot carry out an abortion in nigeria if you are caught providing an abortion to a woman you you would face up to you face up to 14 years imprisonment if you provide the drugs you face up to three years imprisonment you know so on and so forth so i just feel like women should have the fundamental human right to decide what to do with their body or not i know and that got me thinking what are the effects of an unintended pregnancy now first of all it affects the mental state of the woman it affects the psychological research shows that the overall effect of unintended pregnancy on maternal depression and parenting stress is really high it contributed to an increased risk in maternal depression and parenting stress an unintended pregnancy or a coerced pregnancy affects attitude and behaviors in parenting and this could impact the child development so with that being said why would you want to force a woman to have a baby when her psychological health has a lot to do with the outcome of the child now you are saying that you put this new law in place in order to protect the unborn child but however you are letting the unborn child come into the world in an unstable environment because i mean the mom is not ready to have the baby so obviously she doesn't like the baby and that could affect how the child grows up that's why you have a lot of people that just take guns to school and decides to blast everybody is their environment is their upbringing so clearly you are coercing that woman to have a baby that she doesn't want to have so she's definitely not going to show that baby love research also shows that women who have unintended pregnancy or are coerced to have a pregnancy end up taking drugs smoking um, drinking they don't take their folic acids and that could affect the health of the child as well um, I actually did um, 
base my vlog on a research and i'll leave the link down below you can click on the link to see the research and read about it it's a real research so let me just read this for you in, according to the research, children born from unintended pregnancy showed a cognitive delay at 3 years old, more behavioral problems at 5 and 7 years old, and increased problem behaviors and substance use at 14 years old than their counterparts. So I'm just really going to run through the effects of having an unintended pregnancy, poor maternal mental health, low levels of psychological um, health and life satisfaction and maternal depression. So in a nutshell, the new Alabama law aims to elevate the right of the unborn child over the right of the mother and that doesn't even make sense to me considering that the person who births the baby is the person that is going to raise the baby. Now imagine a situation whereby the woman is not mentally stable, she's, she's depressed, her baby daddy is in there, she doesn't have money to take care of the baby. I don't know how you expect the baby to turn out to be great or to be some sort of mentally stable child like obviously hard depression is going to rub off on the baby eventually and then you have a problem so with that being said i hope i was able to educate you on what it means to be pro-choice so it's not just about saying that abortion is good but it's about people having the fundamental basic rights like if you don't want to commit an abortion now that's your religion that's your choice and that's your moral but you cannot enforce your religion your choice and your morals on another person anyways i hope you guys um enjoyed this episode on chatterbox with Uju. i definitely enjoyed researching this topic researching this topic putting out this vlog shooting the vlog editing the vlog and doing every other thing and um I hope I was able to get through to you. Let me know what you think about the new state of Alabama law on abortion. Are you pro-choice or pro-life? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to get notifications when a video comes in. Love you guys so much. 